It's a hot day in Florida. As you can tell, our, um, our AC is running at full blast in the office to keep things livable in here. Anyway, I don't mind. I like the heat, but you know, it is nice to have an air conditioned office. So speaking of air conditioning, um, Noah had sent me a question this week because he's redoing the AC on his 240D and he wants to know what part he can do and if there's any hazmat disposal, what parts to replace and uh, where, um, you know, what parts maybe an AC shop or a mechanic should handle. So. So, let's talk about it. First of all, most 123s need the following, an AC compressor, a dryer, and an expansion valve. I, I have told you guys before, I like to get my compressors from Mercedes, they're expensive. The part number is 000 230 Wholesale cost is around, well, I think it's in the 500 range, but $790 or so for a new one from Mercedes. So it's not cheap, but there are a lot of other brands out there. Um, Four Seasons, Hella, uh, Air Products, Apco, Harrison, and Compressor Works all have made these compressors within the last five years. Compressor Works was the best, I just have a lot of trouble finding them. Going to dryers, don't use a bare dryer. Don't use a Euro parts dryer or a metrics dryer, they're all junk. What you really need to do is go to Mercedes and buy a dryer or go on eBay and look for a Hansa dryer or an ACM dryer. Hansa and ACM recently merged, so they're the same company, but Hansa and ACM are brands you can trust. Now, with the expansion valve, which you should also replace, which is under the dash in your 123 on the far right side. Egelhoff made these expansion valves and they still do. They're about 40 bucks. If it says Egelhoff on it, you're good. If it says anything else, you're not. So Egelhoff on the expansion valve. And I would also recommend replacing all the seals and O-rings in the system. This is all work you can do yourself. Now the AC pressure switch. I recommend spending the $80 on a genuine Mercedes pressure switch instead of an aftermarket bear or Santec unit. Why? Because these aftermarket pressure switches explode and leak from the terminals. Just saying. And if you're putting an AC belt on, go to your Mercedes dealer and get a belt. And this applies to any car. The belt size for a 300D turbo is 12.5 by 925. And on a 240D, it's 12.5 by 875. So going back to, um, uh, going back to Noah's question, what can Noah do? Well, if Noah, Noah if you have a compressor, Go to your Napa store and get some AC flushing agent, fill all the lines and flush that sucker with air conditioning solvent. Use, a, use compressed air and AC solvent. There's, unless you're living in California, there's no environmental, can somebody display a Nazi symbol when I say California? Because <laughs> they're just ridiculous there about everything. I'm, I'm not a fan of how the state of California is managed. A lot of nice people, there are a lot of beautiful cities, a lot of beautiful landscape, but I mean, geez, I feel sorry for all you guys because you're, and the, uh, in Australia too. A guy messaged me and said that, uh, commented and said that in Australia, R12 Freon is basically totally illegal. I mean, if you know what to do with the stuff, it's fine. But in this case, you can use R134, it's fine. So going back to what we were talking about, flush your AC lines, and seal up the system and then put a, um, put a set of, uh, put a set of gauges on the car and run the car and go to the AC switch and jump the two pins together. This will run the compressor. Then out of the high side, vent all the pressure that comes out while the car is running. Vent until the high side pressure reaches zero. And on the suction side, you have vacuum negative 20 to 30. Then shut the gauges and watch the thing and see if it collapses. If it collapses and goes back to zero, then you have a leak. But if it doesn't go to zero, then you're, you're fine. You know, and I, I like to watch these things for two or three days. That's what I've learned. A system that holds vacuum for two, three, four days or a week or something is a sealed system. A system that doesn't, isn't. You know, a system that loses vacuum after an hour or two, you've definitely got a leak. 
If you can't find your leak after a week and you're losing vacuum, you can either charge the system or go back to your compressor. What do they say, bad out of the box? Sometimes it happens. That's why I buy the Mercedes compressors because they're usually good out of the box and stay good. Um, once you have charged the AC system, once you have evacuated the AC system and it holds vacuum, go ahead and charge it with three cans of R134 Freon. You can charge it yourself. Make sure that when you, right before you charge it, um, run, a, run a hose into a can of PAG 150 oil, just a hose from the suction port into PAG 150 oil, and add between 160 and 180 cc's of oil to the system. Just let the, let the system draw it in. You know, just let it suck it in. Don't forget the oil, it's very important. So oil first and then Freon. Sorry, I got a bit out of order there. But Noah, you can do everything yourself if you're just methodical about it. And the thing with the leak checking, believe me, if you follow the instructions and are real careful with your O-rings, you will do a better job than any AC shop. Most AC shops, I'm not talking about Mercedes specials, I'm talking about AC shops, are scams. They are total scams. They're just in business to make money. AC shops are scams. I hope Scott, Scotty Kilmer's watching this, you know. Um, <laughs> Scotty will probably agree with me that, that most AC, I can't wait to see his video on AC shops being scams at some point, I hope. But anyway, uh, if, um, uh, uh, I, hope, I hope you guys have good luck with your AC, especially you, Noah. I know parts can be a little expensive, but hey, I mean, you've got to get these things right if you want them to work, right? In the meantime, please like, share, and subscribe. Tap the bell for notifications. Thank you so much to all of our Patreon supporters. If you have any questions, comment below or email me. And in the meantime, enjoy driving your Mercedes-Benz. Thank you so much. I appreciate you watching.